you never know what you're going to lead with. And I'm always looking to keep it positive. So how about this? Sacktown. 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 I'm starting the show with you. It's not the first time I've done it. I know it won't be the last, but Sacktown, it is all about you. The entire country is going to hear this. It happened. It's finally over. You the You did it. The long city nightmare has finally come to an end, along with the longest playoff drought in all of pro sports. It's been 16 seasons, but the Sacramento Kings are finally back in the playoffs. Sacktown. You're not dreaming. Now, you might be hungover. In fact, you better be hungover. But you're not dreaming. This is, in fact, real life. Your Kings are really a playoff team. And all I have to say to that is this. Light the beam. Light the beam. Light the beam. Light the beam. Hell yes, Sacktown. You shine that giant purple laser and... The light, the beam chance. Weren't just coming from Sacktown last night. Kings fan was representing and chanting light, the beam in Portland. As time expired on one of the biggest wins in the history of that franchise. Down. It's finally really over. And the absolute best part to me about this story is that it's not just a nice little story. And that it's not the end of the story. It's just the beginning. Because this is a legit, exciting team with a legit culture, a legit future, a legit head coach, a legit look at this thing. They're the three seed in the West, and they are for a reason. And they still have a historically great and ridiculously underhyped offense that people are not talking about nearly enough. No exaggeration when I say historically great. It is. Fact. They're averaging 121 points per game, which is still the most points per game for any team in the association since the 83-84 Nuggets. That's how long it's been since anybody scored the ball the way they are. Statistically, they are, in fact, one of the best offenses in the history of the sport. That's a fact. Not a take. It's a fact. Cold fact. And it's probably one of the many reasons why their GM decided to hop on Twitter last night to celebrate with a classic reset. At M. McNair tweeted, No, Jim, we're not kidding. Playoffs, here we come. Hashtag light the beam. Uh, Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Shout out to Monty McNair. For bringing in the pieces. And even a bigger shout out to Mike Brown. Who put those pieces together. And he built an actual Kings culture. This guy's got to be absolutely a stone cold lock, right? For the NBA coach of the year. For the second time in his career, by the way. I don't even care about who actually wins the award. I'm just going to give it to him right now. I don't even have a vote. I don't have a vote, I don't really have a say, but I do have a platform, and I do have an opinion. Mike Brown, congrats, my dude. You are the NBA Coach of the Year. Says who? Says me. You should go around. You should go around and tell everybody, man, I'm just so flattered. I'm so humbled. I'm the Coach of the Year. Yeah, but Mike, it's not official. It hasn't been announced. Yes, it has. Rome said so. It's official in the jungle. And what's more official than that, Mike? Congrats. You did it again. Because nobody's going to convince me that anybody else did half the job that Mike Brown did this season. Think about this. He didn't just break a playoff drought. The dude became just the second Kings head coach to ever post a winning record. Let me repeat that. The only Kings coach to ever have a winning record in any season was Rick Adelman. Who, by the way, back in the day, used to always come on the program. Damn good coach. So underrated. Rick Adelman, so underrated. Until this season, he was the only one who ever had a winning record there as a head coach. Until Mike Brown showed up and started lighting them beams, baby. This part is, if you think my dude, Mike Brown, 
is satisfied just making the playoffs and breaking that miserable streak and this being a nice little story, think again. You couldn't be more wrong because Mike Brown knows these fans deserve a hell of a lot more at this point than just making the playoffs. That guy nailed exactly the way things are in Sacramento. He nailed that fan base. He nailed the expectations, the fact that they deserve it. He crushed that. Oh, one more thing. Mike Brown very clearly is not just here to take part. He's here to take over. And so is his team. You hear that, Kings fan? That's what having a future sounds like. It's a future you all do deserve. Nobody's had it worse than Sacramento fan, Kings fan, for a decade and a half. After it had been so great back in the day. And it was. It was amazing back in the day. The thing is, and this is why they deserve it. One, nobody's had it tougher. And two, they're amazing fans. Kings fan always shows up. Kings fan travels to chant, light the beam. I'm telling you, this is the thing about Kings fan. Before they were great, the fans were great. In fact, the team, frankly, was an embarrassment league-wide. And yet, even when they were horrible, even when they were, how do I put this, ass, their fans still jammed the old Arco Arena Every single night. They still love that team. Even when they were running crap out on the floor back in the day. The Kings fans were still incredible. Incredible when the team was incredible. And incredible when the team was ass. These are amazing fans. This is just another reason why I love Sacktown. And why I want to give them their hype and their respect. They deserve this. They deserve this as much as any fan base does. And you might try and argue, nobody really deserves anything. Oh, no. Ah, They deserve this. I'll say it again. Two of the finest moments of my entire professional life were the two tour stops back in the day in Sacramento. It's all so surreal to me when I think about it. When I think back and I think about those two events... I mean, did I really hit the stage in Sacramento with nearly 18,000 people in attendance? Did that really happen? I mean, I was there. I was on that stage. I'm me. (laughs) So I know it happened. But thinking about that is so surreal to me. Did I really hit that stage with 18,000 people in that barn along with Rick Adelman, C-Webb, Vlade, White Chocolate, and the entire crew? Were they not also there on stage with me? Hey, Kings fan, help me. This really happened, right? No, I know it did. I will never forget those shows. Two of my favorite days ever. Also, also, one more thing about the beam. How can you not love the beam? They shoot a purple laser into the sky when they win. How do you not love that? Here's to many more lasers, Kings fan. You deserve all of them. Light the beam, light the beam, light the beam, light the freaking beam. And clones, I know you better than you know you. And if you live outside of Sacramento, I know what you're going to do with this. I know what you're going to do with my opening take. I know what you're going to do with that team. I know what you're going to do with that fan base. I know what you're going to do with that beam. And I know what you're going to do with what you think is the biggest cow town ever. I know you clones. It's light the beam. Not tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Yeah, but Rome, that's the city flower, right? Tumbleweed. No, no, a tumbleweed is not a flower. No, no, no. Much less the city flower. If I'm not mistaken, the city flower of Sacramento is the camellia. So the Kings, thanks Alvin for confirming that. The Kings are most likely the three seed. And because they are most likely the three seed, the West or the rest of the West seems to think that that's a good thing. They're falling all over themselves trying to lock the six seed. 
You know, like they all want that so badly. Like they want that. They want Sacramento. It's like a fight at the bat rack. Face the Kings. All I'm saying is be careful what you wish for. For what you wish for and put some respect on them. And there best not be any jackasses like the last time I did this who said, yeah, Roman, it's about time. It's about time you gave us credit. No, it's not. I've always given you credit. For real. For real. I'm the only one on the national scene that has always given you credit. And I'm not looking for any credit for giving you credit. I'm just saying, don't be a jackass and tell me this is long overdue and where have I been? Where have I been? I've always been with you, Sacktown. You know this. I love you, Sacktown. Love that the Kings are back. And they are. They're not hot. They're good. Actually, they're both. And the drought is over. Sacktown. I shouldn't even have to ask. In fact, I'm not going to ask. I'm going to tell you. Get up in here, Sacktown. It's over. Your long nightmare is officially over. The longest playoff drought in all of pro sports. Over. You're in. Not only are you in, but you can do some damage once you get there. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell to be the first to know when we do upload a new video.